In this video, we will explore the advantages of converting data into a table to uploading it into a Power Query as opposed to using name ranges. Additionally, we will delve into the concept of hidden tables where data exists in a table format but is often not recognized as such. Before transforming a data, first we will have a look at it. So the first row contains last month which is just for the information purpose. The second row is our header row which contains two headers, retail price and cost. So two headers are missing which will be our brand name and our product name. Also, the details of brands are missing over here. So we have to fill this missing values by Jeffers and these missing values by blue label. So first, we will convert this data using name ranges. So we'll select the data, go to our name box and type the name of your name range. So you can give any name. I'll give it range. I'll give it product range. Press enter. I'll go to data tab from table range. Click on table range and this screen will appear and the Power Query editor will open. Now notice that the Power Query has automatically taken the name of our name range. So that is product range. Also it has applied some steps but in our case we do not need it because we have to apply some additional step before the change type. So I'll just remove the change type. Also promoted headers are not properly figured out by Power Query. So we have to assign that step as well. So I'll just delete it. So now we are only left with the source. The first step is to remove the row which contains the last month now since we are doing transformation on the row, so this is referred to as a table transformation. So all the table transformation functions, you can find it over here on this tab. So we have to remove the first row. So you can go to remove. So you can select remove top rows and assign how many rows you want to remove. So in our case, we have to remove only the first rows. So I'll type one and press OK. This option is also available in your home tab in reduce rows remove rows and remove top rows. So the same function on multiple places. I just press cancel. The second step is to promote these rows as a header. So again, this is a table related action. So you can find table related actions over here and you can select use first row as header. Similarly, you can find this table related actions over here as well in home tab. So go to your home tab and use first row as header. Also notice that as soon as you applied the promoted header step, Power Query has assigned the change type automatically. As I see, the change type is assigned correctly. Now, the next step is to assign the header name where header names are not present. So, this is our brand column and this is our product column. So, we have to give this name. So, I will type brand over here by double clicking on the column one or just single click and press F2. Similarly, I will assign a product name by pressing F2 and type product and press enter. Notice that the rename column step is also recorded over here. The last step is to fill this null values with the brand name. So Power Query has a very good function for this. Now this is a column related action. So you can click on the column, right click and go to fill and down. Similarly, the column related actions are also present in transform and add column. So this fill option is present in transform. So go to transform, fill and down. So now our data is ready. Let's load it to our table. So go to home tab, select close and load to. So in import data, we will select table and we have to put this data in this existing worksheet. So I'll select this existing worksheet, click over here and press OK. So now our data is loaded. Now let us see whether Power Query will automatically take the data if we copy some more data below this. I have a sample data over here. I'll just copy it, paste it over here and try to refresh my Power Query report. So as you can see, it is not automatically capturing the data which we have pasted below our previous data. So why this is happening? Because whenever you paste a new data below, you have to redefine the named query. So if I choose name query from here, that is our product range, you can see this is not capturing the new data which we have pasted below. So you have to go to formula tab, name manager, select your name range, press edit and here you can again assign your name range. Press OK, close and now if you refresh your data, so that data is picked up in the report. So this is not exactly the Power Query users wants the data. Power Query has to capture the data automatically instead of every time redefine the range of your data. That is where the table formatting has an advantage over name ranges. So whenever you paste data into a table, it will automatically get detected by Power Query. Let us see with the example. Go to your table sheet, 
where we have the same data let us first convert this into a tables by pressing ctrl t and that excel has automatically detected that your table does not have headers and press ok now here i'll show you the concept of hidden table where your data is actually a table looking at it you cannot figure out that it is a table as soon as we convert this into a table excel has automatically assigned the column names which we do not want it so just click anywhere on your table go to table design and in table style options you can untick header row. so your header row is now removed and as you can see this is now look as a normal data also my design style is by default blank but if you find any other design style you can go over here and select you can select the first option that is none or you can just press clear button so now this is actually a table it does not look like a table to transform this data using power query click anywhere on the data go to data tab select from table range and here you will find the similar screen as you have seen in name range example so we'll follow the same steps over here so we will delete change type promoted header we have to get rid of the last month row so go to table action and select remove top row press 1 ok we have to assign this top row as a header again this is a table action go to column use first row as header we have to rename the first two columns so this is brand the second one is product press enter and we have to assign a brand name instead of the null values over here so this is column related action so click on your brand column right click go to fill and down so all the steps are done go to close and load to and in input data we'll select table and we have to put data in the existing worksheet and press the cell where you want to paste the data and press ok so now your data is pulled from this table so let us try to paste some more data Control c for copy Control v for paste and now we'll refresh this and as you can see without redefining the table range the table is refreshed also if you want to do formatting for this table you can do that by simply clicking anywhere on the table so this table design tab will appear go to table design and you can select any of the styles you want i'll just keep this style so as you have seen why table is more preferred in comparison to name range and i hope you have learned something from this video and see you in the next video